somebody actually posted a really or posed a really interesting question on my uh, DeviantArt page the other day. And their question, to paraphrase, was along these lines. What's up with the big recent hype surrounding the total drama pairing Scott and Courtney? Otherwise known as Scortney, Scott X, Courtney, whatever moniker or title you want to give it. I was kind of thinking about that and... I wasn't really aware that it was some sort of big, growing entity. I knew it was there. I knew that there were people interested in it. But then again, it's really not that surprising of a trend. If you uh, look at the succession of the seasons, for the most part, with the exception of season two, maybe even season two, there's been one big hot button shipping with each season. For season one, it was Duncan Courtney. For season three, Alejandro Heather was a big hot button topic. That's one bandwagon I've hopped on and have yet to jump off of. Season four, arguably you could say it's a mashup between Mike, Zoe, and the fan favorite Scott and Don. I know that was a really big popular one around the time season four first came out. And for season five, it's Scott and Courtney because it's new. Simply because it's the newest developing couple on the show. It, it tends to be that the trends follow the most popular couple in total drama is the newest one. The one that's the most recent, the one that's currently developing, that sort of thing. And that's exactly what Scott and Courtney are. They're arguably the uh, only new developing couple. I'm uh, sort of scraping Cody and, or rather, Sierra and Cameron out of the picture because really, Cameron is Sierra's stand-in for Cody. It's that's one plot thread I'll save for a different discussion. But really, it, it, it's kind of irritating. I, I like the prospect of Cameron and Sierra being friends and relating on some level, but... Her obsessive nature with Cameron mistaking him for Cody, while it's in character for it's kind of irritating. Back to my uh, main topic of discussion. I'm going to try and uh, explain why... I personally think this is the newest hot button topic for the total drama fandom beyond the fact that it's really the newest developing pairing for the show. Another thing that really has to do with it is the fact that Duncan and Courtney has been missing as one of the uh, big item couples for the past couple of seasons. Ever since the big breakup in season three, the uh, Duncan, Gwen, Courtney love triangle and all the ridiculous drama that that ensued, there, there's been kind of a hole. To a certain extent, you could actually see Scott as Duncan's replacement of sorts. Though, Honestly, I really don't want to view it that way, since personally, I'll just come right out and say it. I like the prospect of these two characters getting together as a couple. I, I, I like the potential of them being a pairing. I like it. I, I'm a Scott Courtney shipper. I'll just lay all my cards out on the table right now. But, yeah, that really would be one of the big... That really w would be one of the best explanations for why it might be snowballing into something as big as what it's accruing to be. Why it's one of the uh, big hot button topics. Courtney's definitely one of the fan favorites. That's undeniable. She has been since season one alongside Duncan. And a big part of that could be attributed to the Duncan-Courtney pairing. It's arguably the most popular shipping shipping in the entire show. 
As a result, of course, both of them would be pretty popular as characters. And the notion of Courtney having any kind of romantic interest or new love interest is going to peak fan interest of some sort. What makes Scott especially unique, though, is that in the initial speculations about how the total drama Revenge of the Island characters would turn out, before we actually figured out who they were, going from Scott's character design alone, he was seen as the quote-unquote new Duncan. I'm not sure if some of that's carried over or not. He's definitely a completely different character in and of itself, very definingly and distinctively different, yet there is still a parallel that you could draw between him and Duncan, being he's a bad boy, just in a different respect from what Duncan is. Duncan is the bad boy with the golden heart stereotype, whereas Scott, he's just downright sinister. Eh? Heck, in season four, he was pretty much borderline, if not completely a sociopath, merciless. He's more evil than Duncan. That's really definitely what makes him different, what really makes him stand out a bit more. Personally, I'm kind of interested in uh, these two being a pairing because even though fans kind of did start pairing them up after season four or sort of during that time, it really can be considered more of a crack pairing than something canonical. It's just, it was unexpected, sort of unpredictable to see it actually playing out in the actual show, to see them actually experimenting with the prospect of these two becoming a couple. What makes their dynamic interesting is that I'd actually argue that Courtney, in her own right, can be almost as merciless as Scott. Not quite, but pretty close. If they actually teamed up as a villain power couple of sorts, they'd give Alejandro and Heather a run for their money. People might, people might like to see those two as the uh, sexy bad boy bad girl, the most, the most ferocious, the most ferocious competitors to look out for. But really, those two do have uh, their soft sides, their uh, blurred edges, per se. They might be a bit more subtle at manipulation, and each are ferocious in their own right, but there's... Hack! Alejandro saved a couple of contestants. He saved Gwen once. He saved Heather. And Heather... She's ruthless in her own way, but... When it comes down to it, I'd actually say that Courtney's a bit more ferocious. There's, There was... Remember the, one of the scenes in the total drama, drama, drama aftermath, or the first one after the very first season? She was willing to cut the rope with the, all the other contestants hanging on it from the hot air balloon, saying that she would be okay with them dying if it meant she could get the million dollars. She's merciless and cutthroat for the most part. If you push her to her absolute limit... She's on par with Scott to some degree. Heck, Scott actually has some finesse in the deception department. It, it's a bit different and unique from what Alejandro and Heather were. Not quite the same brand, but he's deceptive in, in his own right. That's really what makes the two fascinating to me. If they teamed up. They have the same potential that Alejandro and Heather would as a team, in my opinion. On a different note, though, it's kind of interesting to see how their personalities play off of each other. Just the fact that it is kind of forced. It is really forced that suddenly Scott decides, I'm okay with taking orders. It's just, that's way too convenient to uh, match up with Courtney's demanding, kind of bossy personality. I'm a bit torn on that particular development for Scott. I really like the prospect of him having a human side. In other words, he's going to show a softer, more protective side or different characteristics about him that we didn't see at all in Season 4 around Courtney. I really, really like the prospect of that because... 
Hell, even Alejandro and Heather have had their moments where they were kind of soft and tender. Courtney had moments where she was almost human when she was interacting with Duncan in season one. Seeing this kind of development with Scott, I love it. I never would have expected it. It's just, I kind of wish it had been ushered in through a different plot point. Just in a different situation. It's, yeah, that, that's kind of my biggest reason. The fact that they'd be a really intimidating team up, a really intimidating alliance if they were really at their most cutthroat and ferocious. Yet, they could bring out dimensions and characteristics in each each other that we haven't seen from either one before. It's just, it's so weird, a matchup. These two are just so unexpected and so unpredictable, you don't know what's going to happen. I guess I'm being a bit optimistic with the show's writing, sort of leaning towards jumping the bandwagon because I honestly want to see where these two are going to end up. I want to see them become a couple of sorts. I want to see them get together. I want to see them be cushy and happy and I'll admit it, I think it's, I think the idea of Scott having a puppy love crush on Courtney is adorable, but again, that's really being an idealist about the prospect of these two getting together. My reasoning is really leaning more towards wanting to see a different sort of character development for Scott rather than Courtney. I'll just outright say it, even though I've never really been a big Duncan ex-Courtney fan. They did complement each other fairly well in season one. It's just ever since they needed a break. They needed a break of some sort. They'll probably end up getting back together eventually, but in the meantime, Scott and Courtney are a really interesting contrast to each other. A really interesting and unexpected compliment. I'm really just I'm just really intrigued to see where the writers are going to take that, where how it's going to unfold and develop. I, I'm not I'm gonna be absolutely honest about what I personally find intriguing about it, and that may very well be what a lot of other fans find in it too. Maybe the fact that it is so attractive, why it is so interesting, is because it was so unexpected. It was because it came out of nowhere, pretty much. It came out of nowhere. And it'll... It'll either have some success, it'll, it'll be just kind of flat and trite and just... Uh, or it'll succeed. One of those three. I can say one factor I'm really not looking forward to in regards to Scott and Courtney getting together is the inevitable... Duncan's jealous. It's clear, it's clear cut, it's defined, it's a plot point. Duncan's jealous. I don't really want to spend too much time talking about that since I've, uh, I've brought up some flack before, sort of touching on the previous Duncan Gwen Courtney love triangle. In all honesty, my opinions are ever changing, and when it really comes down to it, I'm neutral to pretty much both couples. I really don't have a uh, solid preference for one or the other. I'm just, I'm just not that fascinated by. I just haven't really been all that fascinated by the characters Duncan and Courtney. I, I guess the only reason why I've started taking investment in Courtney's character now is just because Skye's... He's honestly the most unexpected compliment I'd expect for her to go after. It does make sense since she does have a thing for bad boys still. But at the same time, it's kind of unexpected. Back to a uh, brief discussion of uh, Duncan being jealous. To a certain extent, yes, it does make sense because really, it it was kind of touched upon in season three. It was I 
I don't know. It, it does kind of make sense that he'd be kind of interested in what Courtney's new relationship would be like, wha how she's going for Scott. And that just goes with relationship dynamics in general. I, I wouldn't have expected the season to go completely without touching on the issue of Duncan X Gwen being the new Duncan pairing without at least addressing it to some extent. There is some positivity coming out of it. There actually are hints that Courtney and Gwen are patching up their relationship. And if anything, as long as uh, everything just gets resolved, if, if anything, I'm not completely 100% invested in the idea of Scott and Courtney getting together. If Duncan and Courtney end up resolving things and patching things up and getting together, or Duncan and Gwen resolve their issues and get back together as a couple, I'm just fine with that, but if anything, if there's anything that comes out of resolving the love triangle, the one plot point I really want to see, I want to see Courtney and Gwen become friends again. That would really make all this other auxiliary crap worth it. As interested as I am in the budding relationship between Scott and Courtney, I really do want to see Gwen and Courtney become friends again. That that would be one of the biggest highlights of Season 5. One of the reasons to keep watching. <laughs> Other than more of a curiosity for watching two unexpected characters developing relation, developing feelings for each other. <laughs> That's really all I have to say on uh, that particular topic. That's my own take.